So our environmental groups uh, in Connecticut, the ones I mentioned, we have a, it's several on our commission, um, on our coalition rather, uh, were not, they, they were not making the links between zoning and their issues uh, initially. So part of what we had to do, and I would say I took this on as a, as a former board member at Save the Sound, and you know, really trying to um, you know, build that level of trust to say, look, I'm obviously an environmentalist too. So let's, let's kind of, let, let's help you make the links. Um, I think the, the main link is that residential sprawl is the number one threat to um, environmentally sensitive lands. And I assume that is the case here. We have an institute uh, at UConn uh, that studies this issue. So they have said that publicly many times. So, it, you know, it's been studied here. I, again, I assume that's also true here. And maybe you have an institute that's, that studies that. So when you say, well, then how does residential sprawl get created? It gets created because there is one size fits all zoning that forces one acre minimums and forces two acre minimums. Oh, I didn't even mention. And when I talked about minimum lot sizes, that 81% of Connecticut has a one acre minimum lot size. That's wild, isn't it? Um, so, or more, 50% um, of Connecticut has a two acre minimum lot size, 50% of residential land in the state, two acres. Nobody needs two acres, they don't need it. Maybe they could have it if they wanted it, but this should not be required for new development. That's the problem is that, you know, sure, maybe somebody could, you know, get their two acres, five acres, go live out there, but it's required. And it's a requirement that environmentalists should care about because that is what eats up, you know, when you create a lawn, that reduces biodiversity. It causes more runoff. It causes two acre minimums require more driving, more air emissions. Um, so there are so many links and we try to make those links um, through uh, arguments to these guys, uh, to our environmental coalition. And eventually they said, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. And so now they're um, one of our, um, you know, some of our very strongest supporters.